Yo guys, what is good? I know it's been a long time since I last posted, but I'm trying to hop back into the algorithm. I just um just um got my mic working now. My old videos I could never figure out how to do it, and I finally got it this time. So now now I can um now I can talk to you guys. I can make make a lot better videos. And, um, I could do what I used to wanted to do before. I used to really want to make a commentary type, um, channel. And I think that's what I'm going to aim for now. Um, so, I'm actually, I'm going to just start off by giving a story, you know? Um, so today's story, I've been thinking, and I think I'm going to tell the one about whenever on 4th of July, we broke into the college. <laughs> A college. I'm not gonna say which college for uh, legal reasons, cause yeah, that'd be bad. But um, yeah. So on Fourth of July, oh my God, I was at like a little party, a little party, you know, getting down on Fourth, and there was mortars and a bunch of older people, and everybody, everybody likes using mortars to blow things up. So we were um. We were just walking around, and we had like, I don't even know, 15 mortars. We just had a crap ton of them. And we were just walking around, and we blew, like, everybody's mailbox up that we could see. Like, that's putting it easy. And in like a two block by two block radius, nobody had a mailbox. Like, at all. And, um... Yeah, that's how you know whenever I said we had a lot of mortars, we had a lot of mortars. Like, we, I don't know, we just started getting lost, and we just started doing stuff just to get rid of them, so we wouldn't waste any mortars. But, um, so after we did that, we got tired of doing mailboxes, so we saw the college down the street, and we were like, I want to get on the football field. And why? Who knows? But we ended up jumping over a fence and getting onto their football field, which was very nice. And we had mortars still. Like, we we still had, like, one or two mortars. I think we were on our last two. And um, the older guys were like, just just uh, throw the mortars on the field. And that's what we, what we did. Not a very smart move, but we did it. And, um, when the mortars hit the field, they blew up, obviously, but on the ground. And anybody knows anything about some strong mortars, um, if they blow up on the ground, they're gonna crater a little bit. And that's exactly what happened. It, um, made a little crater in their football field and shot dirt up. And... I tell you what, they were not happy about that. Security was coming towards us so fast. And to be honest, I don't know how they got security there so fast. Like, it was kind of impressive, not gonna lie. Sorry if, um, I'm like pausing whenever I'm like talking or I'm breathing hard but I'm actually playing and this right now I'm not just doing a voiceover so very out of breath but yeah so we snuck on their football field and we blew the mortars up and yeah so that was that was it and then obviously security came now at that college they had these bikes for like college kids and they, um, yeah, they were just sitting in the open. So, us, being stupid 15-year-olds, we, uh, we took them. Yeah, we, we just took them. But we gave them back, don't worry. We put them back after we were done. But everybody had a bicycle. Except me. Yeah, yeah, me. I was stuck with one of those little pink Razor mopeds. And... I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty fun. <laughs> it was going like 20 mile an hour, and it was pretty fun. But, um, 
everything has to come to an end at some point. And we look down the street whenever we cross an inter intersection, and we see the cop lights. We see the headlights, those bright blue headlights, and then he flashes his lights at us, the red and blues. And yeah, we knew that we were probably done. So we dropped the bikes and ran and ran. And luckily, luckily we all hid an alleyway and got away, but, but we lost our little bikes. We couldn't give them back to the college. But they ended up still getting them because obviously they found them. And they were not happy about their football field too. Because obviously they were looking around and saw their football field blown up. And yeah, so that all happened. And then after that, it doesn't end there. We wake up the next morning. Everything's going normal. You know, a little tired, still hyped about what happened the day before. But, but this time my brother calls me. He's like, yo, bro. You just made it to the main town's newspaper. And, oh my god. They didn't know who we were. But, it was not a good look. Because we blew so many mailboxes up and messed the college up. So, not a good look. But a fun look. <laughs> and... Yeah, that's where the that's where the video ends. I, I really kind of lied, but um, nah. I'm gonna keep making these videos if you guys would want them. Um, I don't know if you guys want them, but if you do, let me know, man, and I'll keep making them. I really like doing this, so just let me know what you guys want. I could even do a voiceover of the game and not talk in it, so you don't have to listen to like the heavier breathing. But if that's what you guys want. I'll do that, and yeah, have a good day. Thank you guys for watching.